right up in there. Oh, fish on. Oh, dang. He hit the freaking cicada. There's one way. I not the best idea for this, but so much fun. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, oh, oh. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, since I still got my spare on, I can't travel very far. I'm um, just out here at Canyon Lake and to do a little maybe bluegill fishing, bass fishing, see if there's any carp up shallow that want to eat a fly. So we're just gonna get out here and have a multi-species day. I haven't fished this lake in about a month. Um, heard some reports out of here that it's actually doing pretty good, so we're gonna get out here and try it out. Be out on the kayak in the water here in a second. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks to everybody for subscribing and liking the videos. Having a lot of fun making them, so we're just going to keep on doing that. So we'll see you soon. All right, made it out on the water and already had a couple people tell me how good the fishing's been. I guess the bluegill might be spawning up shallow and the bass are chasing them. So we're going to get out here and give it a whirl. I'm going to look for bluegill beds and maybe target those. Today we're fishing with that uh, Amazon fiberglass rod. And then I got my one weight butter stick to go after bluegill and stuff with. So we're going to get out here and just Throw this thing around and see what we can get. Got a little bass up by the shoreline. Just throw a toss in there, see what he does. And we spooked him. Of course. Yeah, this back bass is acting super weird right now. Putting it in front of him. He hasn't really swam off. Alright, put on a little green and orange fly. Gonna have to try to get it to sink though. Maybe he'll attack a bluegill. He thinks that's what's that. It'll just sink. Here we go. I might explain why all the bass fishing is so good right now out here. Maybe there's more beds. I think he's been caught too recently. Oh, and he just broke me off. Dang it. Had him. He's bit it and spit it and broke me off. Dang it. Alright, I'm gonna switch up to this big bluegill pattern here. It just seems like most of these fish in this lake right now are either keyed up on these bluegill beds when you can find them. I'm gonna try to get it wet so it sinks. That's the worst part about fur. Oh, in a tree. This fly is super heavy. Not the best for this rod. 
So we're just gonna flip it. He's more interested in this fly than he was the last one, so that's a good, that's a positive. There's like a certain spot in every bed where fish just can't stand if something hits it. There we go, fish on. Yep. Yeah. He's in a bunch of grass though, so this is going to be fun. I have no backbone in this rod. And this is a fiberglass 5 weight. And hopefully he pulls me to him. He's, he's hung up in the grass, so we're going to have to go after him. There we go. All right, finally. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. That's a nice fish. Not bad at all for a little fiberglass five weight fly rod. All right. There we go. Back right back to where he came from. There we go. Took a little while, but we got him. Came back out onto the main lake here. This is where people were saying they were seeing these bluegill beds. heavier of a nymph. Try to get down there a little bit deeper. See if these bluegill are really back in here or not. So we put on one of the little miniature cicadas that I tied up down to a little pheasant or a hair uh, pheasant tail nymph. We're gonna throw that in there and see if that gets any looks. This should work. Both flies should really work. There we go, fish on. There we go. All right. I mean, that thing is putting a bend in that one weight. Heck yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I can't do anything with it. I don't know what we got. I mean, it's gotta be a freaking bluegill. Oh, it's a tank of a bluegill. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go, that worked. Nice size gill, look at that guy. That thing put a bend in that one weight. Oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine catching anything bigger than that. All right, finally. Maybe we figured something out.
I think they're holding up in there tight to those reeds. Oh, fish on. There we go. Man, look at that freaking rod bend. Holy crap. This isn't even as big as the last one. Man. That gorgeous bluegill. Heck yeah. Just had to change up tactics a little bit. They seem to be a little bit deeper. Whew, look at that dude. Gorgeous bluegill, about hand sized. Heck yes, found him. Man, I don't care who you are. From age 50 or 100 to freaking six, seven years old. Catching bluegill should never get old. It's so much fun. They fight so hard. All right, one hit the cicada. But he didn't take it. Let's go right up against those reeds and see what happens. Right up in there. Oh, fish on. Oh, dang. He hit the freaking cicada. There's one way. Might not the best idea for this, but so much fun. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, oh, oh. I can't freaking move it. Cannot move this fish. Oh, my gosh, this thing is a freaking tank. Holy crap! Oh, and he's in the net. Oh my gosh. This bluegill is an absolute freaking tank. It looks like something tried to eat it. Look at that thing. Holy crap. That is a, I mean, that thing is giant. No wonder he fought so freaking hard. Let's get him right back into the water. Holy man, on! that was a beast. Let's catch some more of those. It's weird that they're not really hitting the cicada. Like I thought they would be. Weird. They're looking at it, but none of them are taking it. Fish on. Oh, oh.
took the dropper again. Oh, you got me wrapped up in some grass. Man, their spines hurt. Good lord. Get all this cabbage off of them. There we go. Another hand sized gill. It's funny how fast they swim right back to where you caught them at. Fish on. He's trying to bring it in to recast and a freaking fish. Nice size fish too. Can't open hit that nymph. You gotta be kidding me. Oh dang. That's a good size bluegill. Look at that. Alright. Another good size bluegill. Came over here on the other side of the dock thinking maybe man they're all eat up though i mean i think bass are trying to eat these things like crazy like almost all of them have little scars on them or sores little teeth marks go fish on. Here we go. Oh, oh it's a nice size bass. I mean nice size for what we're throwing. Oh no it's a bluegill. It looked like a bass for a second. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's why there's two giant bass chasing it. Look at that. Oh my gosh there are two giant bass chasing this thing. Let's flip this fly in there real quick, see what happens. Wow. Not even interested. Dang. Big old bash just chased that thing out of there. That was crazy. I've only seen that like once other one other time. Super hot. Walk down the bank over here a little bit just to have a look. I know we fished it out of the kayak a little bit, but looks like we got like three or four bluegill on beds right here. Oh, I was pulling drag. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my gosh, this is a tank. These bluegills are all freaking huge. And look at that. Man. Jeez. I was walking back to the truck, but I figured, hey, see if we can't find some more real fast. And we did. Found like five or six of them on beds right here. Just gonna drop in on each one of them, see what happens. Ah. All right. 
Oh, we're way up there. Come on. All right, let's call it a day. We got one more. That was an awesome day out on the water. I couldn't believe we found bass on beds on July 10th. I mean, that's just crazy. And it wasn't like they were just hanging out on bluegill beds. They were guarding beds on July 10th. 106 degrees today. I think today's gonna be the hottest day of the year. Freaking insane. But those bluegill on that one weight, oh man, that was a blast. I mean, that I could have swore I was gonna break that rod a couple times. But all in all, it was a great day out on the water. Thanks everybody for uh, joining us. Thanks to all the subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down there below. Turn on post notifications so you know every time we post a video. It's usually about three times a week. Um, trying to do more. It's kind of difficult with the fishing out here in Arizona, but it is what it is. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're having a great week. We'll see you on the next adventure.